We haven't revealed your numbers, but t take a look. You joined six months ago. Uh, your channel value currently is sitting at nearly 1,300 Rand. You've got five points in your channel, 78 people in your channel, and first pointers. The amount of people that you've introduced personally in six months is sitting at 28. All right. So everyone's making a judgment call on your numbers, <laughs> but let's hear it from the horse's mouth. Um, and you look lovely, by the way. I love it when the wealth engineers get dressed for the occasion. So, Melissa, we see Melissa all the time. She's here at head office constantly, um, almost part of the family. I was going to say part of the furniture. Um, but explain to our guests what it was like, because it's perhaps their first time that they've been exposed to Jupin, but what was your first time like? Who introduced you? How did you, did you come to head office? How were you exposed to this business called Dewpoint, and what were your initial impressions of it. Okay, um, warm greetings to everyone. Um, I joined Dewpoint six months ago. I was introduced by my colleague at work. It came at the right time. Um, when it came to me, it was in January. She basically told me I've got a business opportunity for you. And I thought, wow, what, what's this now? Because I've been involved in so many business opportunities. Um, I was involved in selling a lot of products. Everybody that bumped into me would ask me, what are you selling this time, you know? And I'd tell them, no, man, it's another product. Would you like to try it? So um, when Dewpoint came, it came at a point where I was like, okay, I'm over this product issue. It's time to try something <laughs> different. So she invited me to head office, and my, my first impression was like, wow, wow, this is a proper office. Wow, this is so professional. So I was really um, in awe when I came here. And after the presentation, I joined. I didn't hesitate because it was something that I was looking for, something different, um, something that you didn't have to put in any money when you joined. So that's what um, made me join Dewpoint. It's different, and you don't have to put any money or try to convince someone to buy your product. You sounded like an easy sell. <laughs> huh? I'm sure our wealth engineers wish they found people like you. Oh, I was looking for a business like this. Thank you. All right. Um, so that's great. I mean, I'm glad that we catered to kind of what you were looking for. You highlighted earlier that you really despised the product side of it. Um, but what has the last six months been like? You were impressed by the office. You were impressed with the proposition. But what was it really like getting involved in this business, trying to build this recurring income? Sure. When I when I started the business, I had no clue. It's, it's been a roller coaster ride. I thought, okay, this is easy. Let me just speak to someone uh, to come join the business. I just found out that it was really difficult because not everybody would uh, come to head office or not everybody would, would be keen to come. So they're always used to, like, I'm selling products. Uh, here's the product. You know, so it was something different. Would you like to earn an extra income? And they would say, what is it about? They want to know on the spot. So it hasn't been really an easy, an easy journey. So four months down the line, um, I took a decision. I changed uh, my attitude. I told myself, this is about me, and I will connect quality people in this, in this business. So from then onwards, it's, it's been, um, I wouldn't say smooth sailing, but it's been clearer now. I know what I want, and I know what I'll achieve from uh, Dewpoint. That's awesome. I mean, you've been very involved. 28 people on her first point that she's introduced. Um, and also what I love, I love it when wealth engineers admit to an attitude change, right? Because the system didn't have to change. Just your perception of, right? Just your perception of what you can do. If that changes, it makes all the difference. And we see it with so many wealth engineers. Um, so you become a lot more focused on what you want and what Dewpoint can uh, you know, what benefits you can derive out of Dewpoint. What is that exactly? And w what is your background at the moment? Uh, give the audience a bit of a feel as to who Millicent is. Mm -hmm. Millicent is someone that loves money. <laughs> First of all, she loves money. Um, 
I stay here in Riverside. So basically, I've al always been about business. So uh, the reason I joined Jew Points is that um, the recurring income is what attracted me. I recently uh, have a property now. So I'm planning to pay off that property with Jew Points money. That's another reason that's driving me to do Jew Points. So I'm going to work harder, guys. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was teasing Melissa early saying <laughs> I think she's probably the only wealth engineer that takes her dew point money and actually puts it into a bond. <laughs> right? I don't think anyone else does that, right? So kudos to you. I want you to tell us the day you pay that bond off and it better be in close to half the time, right? That's what I want to see. So that's fantastic. So in terms of other aspiration that you want for the business, were you aware of what annuity income was before you joined dew point? Or is that something that you became only aware of once you joined Dewpoint, the power of creating asset-based annuity-based income? Okay. I was exposed to it when I joined Dewpoint because I was used to selling products. Remember when you sell products, you get the money same time, you spend it, and then it's gone. So um, it was the first time I got uh, introduced to annuity income. So yeah, that's how it is. Okay. Um, and we always... Uh, I guess pay homage to the fact that uh, your success is very much team-based. I mean, you can already see in the numbers. 28 first pointers, but look at her channel size. It's nearly sitting at 80. That's because of the people that Millicent brought in, right? So if you bring stronger people in, that number will be bigger. If you bring weaker people in on your first point, that channel size number will be lower. So um, is there anyone that you want to thank or uh, shout out to or encourage this evening? Um, I'd like to shout out to my team, guys. Uh, keep working. Rome is not built in one day. Let's put in the effort and we're going to see the results. To Stella, my first pointer, Hilda, guys, keep on working. You'll get there. And yeah, uh, let's do this, guys. Let's soldier on. Awesome. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck.